What's up guys, Paul Salmon here. So, too many people getting hurt or killed here lately with wire strike accidents. So I'm gonna give you some tips on wire strike avoidance. And that's coming up So one of the most important factors in determining whether the wires are going to be visible to you or not has to do with the position of the helicopter relative to the wires and the sun. Right? When the helicopter is positioned between the wires and the sun, the wires are quite visible. If you're positioned where the wires are in between the helicopter and the sun, they're nearly impossible to see. Okay? So let's take a look at a couple videos that illustrate that point. So in this video you can see where um, the wires are in between the helicopter and the sun and they're virtually nearly impossible to see. You know they're there, you can look for them, you just can't see them uh, as hard as you may try. But now here in just a second we're going to climb over the wires and position the helicopter in between the wires and the sun. And nearly magically, here we go, we go across and lo and behold the wires show up now. So we position the helicopter in between the wires and the sun and we can see the, the uh, wires quite well, whether against a dark background or um, trees or whatever. So now here's another view of it. Again, now we're positioned between the wires, the helicopter's position between the wires and the sun, and the wires are quite easy to see. Again, whether against a dark background or a light background, you can see them quite well. But now watch what happens as we cross across the wires again. Now the wires are positioned in between the helicopter and the sun and it's essentially they just disappear it's very very difficult to see them when they're in this position so you want to keep the helicopter in between the sun and the wires now watch what happens here we're going to cross across the wires again positioning the helicopter in between the wires and the sun and again nearly magically the wires show up again and are quite easy to see uh, i'll let you continue to look at that for a bit again against most backgrounds if you position it correctly you can see the wires Okay, so in a practical sense, what does this mean? Well, if you're flying along in a helicopter and the sun happens to be in front of you to any degree, in any degree at all in front of you, and you're flying towards a set of wires, you may never see the wires until right before you hit them, okay? So for you guys that are doing ag operations, if you're doing application, you're doing crop pollination, uh, you need to really trust. If you're not the one that did the recon on the on the uh, field, then you you got to trust the guys that did the recon. So your ground crew does a recon for you. You got to trust them with your life because you know ultimately if you screw up and you hit the wires, you may pay for it with your life. Right. For those of you that are doing power line patrol, <clears throat> it may be something as simple as crossing over to the other side of the wires to be able to easily visualize the wires. So you got to pay attention, you know, keep, try to keep that helicopter between the wires and the sun and it enhances your ability to visualize those wires to a great degree. For those of you that are doing an off airport landing then, as you do your high and low recon, when you've got the helicopter position, let's say that you're having to come in because of the wind direction, you're having to come in uh, into the sun to some degree. Then as you're doing your high and low recons, you want to really pay attention when you've got that helicopter and you're coming around and you position the helicopter in between the sun and the uh, confined area that you're coming into. That's when you're most likely to be able to see uh, a set of lines if they're crossing the field. When you're approaching towards the field into the sun, your ability to see those lines is really, really limited. So as you're doing your recons, when you get around, you know, to the position where you've got the helicopter located between the sun and the field is where you're most likely to be able to visualize those lines. And by the way, this works the same way for airplanes as it does for helicopters, or the same way for gyroplanes, whatever. If you're going to do an off airport landing, you really got to pay attention during that recon uh, when you position the aircraft between the sun and your proposed landing site, landing field, confined area, grass strip, whatever. That's where you're most likely to be able to see those lines. 
Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's all be safe out there. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.